alam mo ang Isabel na mahal namin. Uh, dito nag-umpisa lahat ang uh, career namin dahil sa pagmamahal din sa amin. Yung, yung trust. Kailangan talagang ibalik mo ng uh, totoong serbisyo sa kababayan natin. Kung ano yung ginawa namin, siguro ibang tao na ang pwede magsabi niya. Kung ano yung nagawa ng partner ng nagkaisang uh, sa Isabela kami ni Congressman Rodito Almano. I know you're very humble about these things. You don't usually like talking about them. But which among all your many awards as a public servant uh, means the most to you? Talagang we just tried our best naman. Eh, di ba? Makapag, uh, makapag-serve. Pero... In, we didn't look no, doon sa side na magkakaroon kami ng award. No, I agree. But like maybe like the one for emergency relief? <laughs> yeah, yung aming preparedness. Okay. Nagawad ka lang sa award. Typhoon Juan made landfall before noon on Sunday in Isabella, pounding the province as well as the neighboring Cagayan Valley with heavy winds and rainfall resulting in the evacuation of hundreds of families according to the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council. You visibly look emotional. Does it make you sentimental when you speak about it? Eh, kasi, the very first year ng term namin, no? Uh, month of October, oh, that was October 18, yung Super Typhoon 1. Talagang, grabe yung trials namin din in, yung dinaanan. From there, we made sure na every time na darating may mga ganitong mga challenges, may mga typhoons, we're prepared. Meanwhile, Isabella is bracing for the possible effects of Typhoon Marilyn. The storm is not expected to make landfall in the Philippines, but it's still expected to affect northern Luzon. Isabella Governor Faustino D. has advised the coastal municipalities of Maconacon, Divilacan, Palanan, and Dinapige to be on alert. The no-sale policy and liquor ban will be enforced once storm signals are raised in the province. One thing is, talagang is we're very proud of. Alam mo, nung nag-clear yung weather, imagine dun sa pinupuntaan namin mga by municipalities and damage, makikita mo yung mga kababayan namin, they starting cleaning up yung mga mess na ginawa nung, nung typhoon. Kaya nakakataba. Kaya yung kanilang cooperation. Na na. Um, what's the best thing you achieved as Governor of Isabella? Well, our bro program. Uh, the Albro program, we have reduced the uh, poverty incidence in the province. Approximately how many people in total do you think the Bro program has helped over the years? Whoa. Uh, Can you give an estimate now? We started around 16,000 students eh, uh, as our scholars. Uh, and then really we have maintained this uh, 16 to 17,000. Uh, bro scholars, uh, non-academic scholars yearly. It'll be your lasting legacy. Because it's a lot, a lot. And then farmers, uh, ang Isabela talagang rice granary, one of the rice granary ng, ng country natin. Nagbibigay kami ng price support whenever yung, yung price ng uh, rice and corn mababa. And uh, aside from that, tinutulungan namin sila in market. Of all the times that you've been asked to run for national office, why have you persisted to choose to stay in local government? Pang sa namin. Pero, but I'm sure you've been asked many times. Yes, but uh, gusto namin Isabella, pag, pag namin Your heart is here. Yes. What is it like having a wife like you do? Oh, syempre, ang dami namin pinagdadaanan. <laughs> Alam mo naman, wala namang perfect na relationship. But uh, through thick and thin, talagang, at end of the day, talagang nagbibigay ang kami mag-asawa. Yan, yun sa success namin, isang key ng success namin, yung aking, my wife, of course, yung understanding niya, yung patience niya, and uh, Okay. Um, um, what does it mean to be the leader of a family whose last name resonates so frequently in politics? And in what specific ways have your children made you proud? Talk to me about your sons, about Kiko and Ino. I never thought itong mga anak ko eh, uh, papasok sa politics. Eh. My name is Ino D, um, National President of the Liga ng Mga Barangay sa Pilipinas. Isang magandang buhay po sa ating lahat. 
iniimbitahan po namin kayo sa mga aktibidad natin dito sa bayan natin at Chagos. Sabi ko sa kanila, pagkapapasok kayo sa politics, make sure kung gusto mo maging public servant, hindi ka public servant ng one day. Di ba? Hindi ka public servant na, na dapat accessible ka, available ka at all time. Sa 24-7, 24 hours a day. What we are doing now, um, parang sinusustain lang lang what my father had, had it before. Eh. Uh, siya lang lahat ng nag-start nito, Unite the Province, um, and then uh, dinidevelop namin uh, kung ano yung meron para mag-benefit yung majority of our people. And lagi ko nga sinasabi sa kanila na yung family D, never kami makakabayad ng utang na loob at pagmamahal sa aming mga kababayan. Kasi, because of them, kaya kami nandito. Um, they say that no matter what any politician or leader does in his lifetime, uh, the legacy that they'll leave behind really will not be the work, but will be in his children. What can you say about this son? Perfect. Perfect. The governor had molded uh, children who are more capable than he is. How do you want people to remember Borgi? Public servant.